Hello dear friends, welcome to my next video, Stari Mashai Malgaro. In today's video, I'm going to deal with uh, interrogative or question pronouns in Pashto. So let's begin with the first one, which is Tsuk. Tsuk means who or whom is a direct object or it can also mean anyone. Example, da halak tsuk dai. Da halak tsuk dai. And it means, who is this boy? Da is this. Halak is boy. Tsuk is who. Dai is is. Again, and the question word tsuk, as explained in the previous video, stands in front of the verb. And die because halak is male singular, that's why we need die. Another example Dara Halak Tsuk Di. Who are these people? Dara means these or this. Halak with kh sound is people. Tsuk means who the is are. And here we have the instead of die because halak are plural for plural regardless of gender we always need the for male singular we need die and for female singular we need da like in the third example hara tsukda which means who is that girl hara means that Jine means girl, it's singular female, and tsukda means who is. And here we have da because jine is female singular. And one other example where tsuk is used as anyone, for example, ta tsuk khabar kral kana. Ta tsuk khabar kral Kana. And be careful at, about the sound of kral. Kral is with a retroflex R. It's a R sound. And the A is, is a, like a schwa sound, like kral. Not kral, but kral. So, ta means you as a. Because you, ta is the form of te in past tense, and this sentence is in past tense. And uh, talk here, talk is used in this sentence as a direct object, uh, which and anyone. So, did you inform anyone or not? Kana means or not. And habar kral means to inform. And and in this sentence, the talk, anyone in Pashto or talk. It's considered when it's used alone, without any noun, like in the previous sentences, then it's, it's considered as plural. And the curl uh, stands in plural. So, let's start with the next and similar. And this is cha. Cha means also who, like tsok, but it's in the past tense with transitive verbs. For example, dara kar chawa kar. We mean who did who did this? And again, cha means who. Instead, in, stands in front of the verb wakar means did. And this sentence is in past tense. And here the tsok. Uh, change to ch change to cha because it's past tense, and waker which means did, comes from kawal which means to do, is transitive verb be because you say you do something, yotsa kawal, and the next example is da ta cha ta da ta cha da ta ta cha wawail, sorry da ta ta cha wawail. Which means, who told you that? Da means that, 
Tata means to you or you. And cha means again who. And wawail means told. And this sentence is again in past tense. That's why we use cha and not tok. And wayal means to say something and it's a transitive verb. The next interrogative pronoun is cha ta with ta. It's, it's similar like cha but with ta after which means to and it's an indirect object. It means to whom. For example, ta pal mobile cha ta worker which means to whom did you give your mobile sorry it, it's not book but mobile um ta means you and worker is a plural is past tense that's why we need ta because not t and khpal means own or your mobile is mobile and chata means to whom and chata again stand in front of the verb. And next example is It's a question. And hara means he, but it's the past form of hara. Because walegala, it comes from legal, and legal means to send, and it's a transitive verb. That's why we, we need hara instead of hara. And khpala means, again, own on your, and it's the female form of khpal, because khwalay is female, uh, it means cap, it's a female singular noun in Pashto, khwalay. And chata means again to whom. And in past tense, we also ag agree the verb always with this object. Like in the first sentence, we worker is agreed with mobile. Mobile is in Pashto male singular. And in the second sentence, khwale is female singular. That's why we need walegala with an a, a sound at the end. Our next interrogative pronoun is the cha. The cha means whose or of someone. It's a possessive or genitive case. And the the is a genitive or possessive marker in Pashto. For example, dara bax de cha dai. Whose bag is this? Dara means this, bax means bag. The cha means whose, and dai is is, and dai refers to bakas because bax is a male noun in singular. And the next sentence is da sandara de cha da, da sandara de cha da, which means whose song is this? Da means this, we can also say the dara. And Sandara means song, it's a female singular noun. And the cha means whose, and da is is. And da refers to Sandara because it's female singular. And now we come, I come to the next uh, interrogative pronoun, which is kum. Kum means which, it's used for male singular and male plural. Then we have kuma. Kuma means which, it all, it's used for female singular nouns, and kume is which for female plural. But kume, as like the female plural, can also be used as a singular female when it's used in the possessive or case or past tense. For example, if the the genitive marker the comes in front of the female singular kuma, it changes to kume. For example, the kume khadze, of which uh, woman. And here the khadza, which means 
woman changed to Hadze and, and Kuma changed to Kome. So let's consider some examples. Sta kom filam hua higi. Hua higi means like. Sta means because in Pashto, li to like something is used in genitive or possessive case, and sta means your. Kom filam, which me, which filam, and filam is male singular in Pashto, and hua higi means like. And so it, me it means which filam do you like. And the next example is te kuma me wa ruare. Te kuma me wa ruare. Pay attention to the ruare, ruare with an r sound. And it means which fruit do you want? Te means you. Kuma me wa means which fruit. And me wa is male, female singular. That's why we use kuma or koma. And huare means want. And it's, it's, uh, yeah. And the next example is te kume pochtane lare. Te kume pochtane lare. Which questions do you have? Te means you, kume pochtane means which questions. And pochtane is the plural of pochtana, which means question is a female noun. That's why we need kume. And lare means you have. And the last example is da de kume wane numdai. Of which tree is this name? Okay, what are, or which uh, tree is this name of? And da means this or that. The kume means of which. And here it has nothing to do with a uh, plural female, but one a uh, one uh, one a is uh, here used in a possessive case. It's actually a female singular. That's why we use that way. That why uh, um, kuma changes to kume because the marker is in front of it, and num is name, and dai is is. So this was the video about the interrogative pronouns. I hope you like it. Until next time, I wish you a good day ahead. Goodbye.